Many people want to know, how did this fire start? This was one of those fires that's very complicated. Undetermined. Fire investigators say they can't figure out what caused the massive Richmond warehouse fire that displaced thousands of people. That fire broke out in April of 2023, a year and a half ago. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny joins us now with what she uncovered. I just talked to the state fire marshal. He says despite spending hundreds of man hours, they have not been able to figure out what caused the Richmond fire. It sent black smoke into the sky, forcing thousands of people to evacuate their homes, including John Fry. It run everybody in this whole neighborhood out of their houses. We had an evacuation zone here. Some residents experienced adverse health effects like breathing complications, headaches, and chest pain. A lot of the older folks, they had asthma problems and smoke was so black, it was, it was crazy. John and other people in the community have been waiting on a cause for the warehouse fire. Fire rulings are classified in four categories, accidental, natural, intentional, and undetermined. For months, WRTV Investigates has been asking the state fire marshal, and we just got an answer. Your office has issued a ruling. The fire is undetermined. The Indiana State Fire Marshal worked with the Richmond Fire Department and the ATF. The marshal says they can't figure it out. Two big reasons. One, the fire burned for a week. It delayed our ability to be able to get in and be able to observe things. Maybe we could have if the fire was put out in a day, we might have been able to see something. Plus, the damage was extensive. Firefighters used a lot of water to put out the fire. We got to have something that would ignite a fuel. And if we can't find it, see it, document it, it's always going to be undetermined. How does that make you feel when fire investigators say they don't know what caused this? I think they're hiding something. The fire broke out at a plastic recycling facility, partly owned by Cornerstone Trading Group. The city of Richmond took ownership of another portion of the property in 2021. As to who is responsible for the fire, the city and the recycling business have been pointing fingers at each other. A class action lawsuit filed by two Richmond residents alleges the fire broke out on the city's portion. They point to pictures showing trash and combustible materials stacked up a fire hazard. We absolutely want to be able to determine uh, the cause of the fire. It helps us prevent other fires if we know what's causing fires. The state fire marshal did tell us they found the origin of the fire, where it started. It was kind of centered to the complex and it was started outside of a building. So it started outside, not inside the building? That's correct. Can you tell me which parcel it was on that it started? Well, and I can't. John Fry saw kids playing on the property several times before the fire and reported it to police. The lack of answers isn't sitting well with him. And there's something they're not telling us. The case is not closed. The state says they're willing to investigate further if they get new information. Kara Kenny, WRTV. Thank you, Kara. And we requested a copy of the final report, but the state says it does not release those. Kara also found that undetermined is a common ruling for fires. The National Fire Protection Association says in 2022, there were 36 large loss fires or explosions in the U.S. 58% were undetermined or unknown, and 42% investigators found a cause.